Welcome to another Amazeballs episode of Squad Star Beam News. Welcome to another fantastical, marvelistic episode of Squad Star Beam News. Flourish! In today's exciterating episode, we bring you more wholesomest doggo news, informationalized science, musicalist music, and artistical art. Now let's get on with the zaniest segment, Science with Nadia. Flourish! Science time with Nadia, let's go! Did you know that the planet Vulcan from Star Trek used to be considered a real planet? It was a planet right in Mercury's orbit that caused it to jump forward by 0.0119 degrees every century according to its founder, Urbain Le Verrier. He discovered it on January 2nd, 1860 while using Sir Isaac Newton's laws of motion and gravitation. The small planet was accepted in the astronomy community but despite explaining Mercury's unique orbit, the small planet was never actually seen. While Vulcan was accepted as the newest planet in the solar system, it still raised quite a few questions in the astronomy community. It wasn't until 1915 when we gained a full explanation behind Mercury's orbit when Albert Einstein's theory of relativity solved a Vulcan problem. His equations predicted how much of a jump Mercury would make without the help of Vulcan. This theory was then verified on May 29, 1919 during a solar eclipse when astronomers used a bending of light to figure it out. Astronomers quickly accepted that Vulcan was never actually a real planet once given the correct equation of gravity. So while we sadly don't have an actual desert planet full of our favorite space elves, we did used to believe in one named Vulcan for a while. I wonder if any other of our planets aren't actually real. I love astronomy facts, but why did Star Sailor use arc seconds? And now for our most meteorologically accurate weather segment from one of our favorite star beams, Bethany. Flourish! Today in Newton, Iowa, it's beautiful. It's sunny, there's a slight breeze, and it's 62 degrees. Today, it was supposed to be cloudy. I would have really preferred that. Oh, the weather's too nice. It's terrible. <laughs> I agree. Now, I have had the most wonderful opportunity to ask questions to Pat and Katie, the owners of Wonder Hall, a game store located in downtown Fairfield, Iowa. Link in the description. And we broke it down into a series of questions to keep it fun and interesting. Let's get started, shall we? Patrick. Uh, Katie. How can you make the new comic book smell last longer? Airtight bags. Yeah, probably. <laughs> bag of holding. They're pretty oh, magical. That's, that would definitely do it. Yes, bag of holding does win. Would you eat a pizza burger hot dog? Yes. Mmm, that, mm. No? No, no, it's a big one. Ooh, we have some disagreements. DC or Marvel? Ooh. This is awkward because I'm wearing a Marvel shirt, but probably <laughs> DC. Sorry, but the real answer is Shonen Jump. Oh, that is the real answer. Deadpool, Squirrel Girl, or Rocket Raccoon? Deadpool. Yeah, Rocket, I think. Fair. I personally would have to say that I'm a fan of Deadpool. PB&J or ham sandwich? PB&J. <laughs> ham? Ham salad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the correct answer is a bologna sandwich. Ooh. <laughs> Lemur or iguana? Lemur. I don't, I don't know, I guess I'd probably lemur, but I've never even, I don't even know if I've ever seen one in a zoo, so I, I don't, I'm going to say lemur, but don't have any knowledge about why. Well, it's obvious we need to raise some lemur awareness in the world. <laughs> right. Where's the treasure trove of E.T. Atari games hidden? Oh, oh. hopefully somewhere like the sun. <laughs> Hopefully. Ryan Reynolds, prodigy or embarrassment? Prodigy. prodigy. Oh yeah, definitely. 
choose one. MCR, Green Day, or Bob Dylan? Ooh, Green MCR. Day. Now, final question. Star Trek or Star Wars? Star, Star Trek. Trek. Not that Star Wars is bad. No, Star, Star Wars is isn't bad. bad. Star Trek is just bad. better. Yeah. Now, I'm going to plug these answers into the algorithm, and it says that yes, these star beams are awesome. Thank you guys so much for giving us some of your precious time. And now, for some beautiful, artistical art. Flourish! Welcome, star beams, to a different video of just me vibing in my lovely art closet where today I'm going to be painting on this old mirror we found. What am I painting? I don't know yet, but it's gonna be something. So let's get to it, boys. going to her flower. As I said at the beginning of the video, <laughs> I had uh, no idea what I was going to paint, but here we are. Little leave man for you. That was some nice art. I can't wait to see more art from Star Sailor. Up next, this wouldn't be Squad Starbeam News without the wholesomest of wholesome news. Flourish! Oh my gosh, so there's this an adorable doggo named Holly, and she got loose from her humans and ran out onto a Utah high school track meet. Lainey, the girl on the lead, was pretty far ahead of the others before Holly got onto the track. Once Holly got onto the track and started beating Lainey, she was pretty surprised that she was there. Holly had ran 100 meters in 10.5 seconds before she crossed the finish line ahead of Lainey. When the video of Holly beating Lainey got released onto the internet, she, she had commented, lol, can't believe I got beat by a dog. And she is right. Holly is a dog. A very good doggo. Now, somewhere, s someone out there has to give this doggo some treats because she deserves it and she did an amazing job running out there. And here is our favorite musician of all time, the fantastical, phantasmal, Cole. Flourish! This is for Star Beam Bethany.
that guitar is an awesome instrument. Thank you for joining us on another awesome adventure of Squad Starbeam News. Keep shining, Starbeams. Flourish! Wait a minute. You have to act flourish, not say flourish. Here, like this.